and uh, it's just been it's just been a load off. Um, That's what she said. Because I've been <laughs> because I've been I've been practicing like four days a week by myself yeah. in this thing and like listening. If I wasn't listening to it, I wasn't doing enough. But now it's like okay, no, no, no. We uh, we're we're gonna do something different this next week, and I'm like. Thank fucking goodness. Okay. Just <laughs> give me money. Give me my money for the two shows. And, give and me my money. Yeah. Give me my money. And it's good money. Those guys make a lot of money playing, dude. I play for big crowds. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way. Yeah, um, I'm sorry about that. By the way. Oh, shit. What the fuck changed By here? the way. Um, uh, there has been no dropouts. Hmm? Remember like the last time and the time before that? Like oh, yeah. your, your, your call would, dropped out. Why would you say that? Hey, we're on the internet. <laughs> hey, are we on the internet? We're back. Uh, welcome to Critters in Taiwan, a D&D podcast about critical role where a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. I am Ben in Thailand. I'm Tim in Taiwan. I guess I'll just hey. claim the country now. Sure, that's what we can do. And we are Critters in Thailand, Taiwan. In Southeast in Asia, Asia and, and yeah. Asia, yeah. We're, and, we'll always be critters in Taiwan. It's I mean, the I name feel, of the cast. And then I feel like it's a. We've been off the air for a while for a bunch of reasons. Hey, buddy, cheers. Mm. Um, Tim's Tim's been very busy with his uh, his his musical endeavors. I've been very busy with all my other endeavors. Not You're in a new country, either. dude. That's a lot of stuff to take care I actually, of. I actually played a show with a, with another guy. We played a little acoustic set a couple of weeks back, and he's asking me to go back again for a Halloween show next nice. week. Nice. It'd be kind of fun, yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah. know what was really cool? Uh, speaking of which, just a, uh, uh, we were con- uh, Shape Master was contacted. They were like, hey, we want you to play on New Year's. Uh, what mm-hmm. do you charge? We're like, 12000 and free drinks. And they're like, done. We're like, well, shit, we should have gotten 15. <laughs> Way low ball. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. We're, we're super yeah, stoked about that. That's like, the worst, man. When they, they, they immediately accept, you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. We just like, fuck, fuck up. We could have done 20. <laughs> yeah. anyway. Uh, anyway, hey, man, let's talk about stuff because we got stuff to talk about. So much. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah. We, we have been away since episode number 107 of this campaign three. Right. Uh, so. We did, last one was 107, so we've missed episode number 108, 109, 110, 111, and Legend of Vox Machina season 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 comes out this weekend, but uh, yeah, we've been away for some shit Critical Role related. Uh, so I'll just r- quickly run through the episode lists. Do your thing, buddy. Sure, because that, that's what I like to do. I'm not uh, sure what to call this what to call this episode when I upload it, but I, I have an idea. So okay. episode number 108 was called Looming. Okay. Uh, that's the one. Wow, that that's was, a rare one word. Yeah. Title. They, yeah. They don't do that very often. That's the one where they um, they go back to Nana Mori's after defeating uh, after the vision at, after defeating the Sora Lord, and they bring Glomgut back to Nana Mori's. They they uh, put Dad's face on the wall. Oh that's, wow! Does some weird shit on the wall. Dark yeah. stuff. Uh, One hundred nine is a test of fate. One ten is in the shadow of war. That's what this is. So these are the ones where they're going uh, to Vasselheim and and planning stuff. Yeah. Uh, One ten. This was, one. Uh, One ten was great. One ten oh, was really fun because they start planning stuff and we get to see a little bit of Vox Machina. They we get to see Grog and. Uh, Pike again, and we get to we get, we get a bunch of really really cool stuff, right? Wait, what? We saw Grog in one ten, uh, one nine maybe, one ten, one oh one oh nine or one ten. I forget which one it was where he first made an appearance. Well, the first one was was before one oh eight, wasn't it? Was it? Because he, he was Groggery, right? Wasn't that one oh six or one oh seven? Right, it was before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, you're right. You're right. It, it's been a while. It's been, so it's been a it's, month. It's hard to keep track here. You're right. But. That's right. It was before because they went to Vasselheim and then they went back to the Fey Realm. Oh, man. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, they go back to Vasselheim and they start planning stuff and they start figuring out where they're going to go. And then they realize that there's going to be three strike teams that go out. And then we get, I told you this on Friday. I said, as I was watching this episode, you Friday night. that Friday. This, this past Friday. Oh, this, okay. Like, okay. like three days ago, Friday. All right, all right. Episode number one, one, one. 111 of campaign three. 
Uh, the <laughs> best episode of Campaign 3 so far. Hands down. I, do you agree? Now that you finally had time to watch it, do you agree? I finished it at lunch today, and yeah. I was crying. Yeah. I was crying at the end of that episode. I watched it that at last part twice because I had time. So good. It was so, so good. good. So good. The it, That episode, by this episode, the latest one, number 111, is What's called... called again? Shadows of War? No. Oh, oh here we go. No, in the Shadow of War is 110. Number 111 is called The Nine Hells. Oh, that's it's so, so sweet. Good. It's so good. Nine, N E I N. Yeah. Nine. Oh. Nine hells. Yeah. Oh, it's that's very so good. good. Yep. Uh, oh, 15 characters at the table. It's insane. 15 characters. Well, well, 14 characters at the table, and then plus Matthew, whatever that means. Yeah, so sure. he, he, he oh, could be also, like 20, 30. Also, you know? Sprinkle and Pate and Sashimi. <laughs> right. So, sure. So call it what you sure. will. Yeah. Yep. Everybody, uh, yeah, everybody. No, no, no. Hang on a sec. No, 15 characters. Because everybody's playing two and Dorian's playing one. So that's eight times two oh, minus yeah, yeah. one. You're right. Yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on. Because they saw seven figures. Right? I didn't clock that that was Mighty Nine when they said, like, mm-hmm. how, oh, many, really? how many figures do we clock? Oh. I was ah. I, I, I wasn't there. I was just like, right. oh, okay. And they, I was like, oh, is this going to be lewdness and something? Because he changed the music to ominous right. instead of, well, like, like jovial well, or whatever. Yeah, that was, the, that was the end of 110. So they saw seven there, and at the yeah, table... Yeah, and then there's eight of them. There were eight at the table. Are there four and four? Yes. Am I going crazy here? Yeah. So Dorian is... Yeah, so Dorian is there, and everybody else is two characters. It's two characters. So 15 right. plus yeah. Matthew. Plus Matt, Jesus. plus Pate, plus Sashimi, plus uh, um, Sprinkle. Sprinkle, who is yeah. ostensibly is the traveler, but uh, whatever. Right. Um, yeah, man. Wild. Fifteen characters at this table is the at the beginning of this episode, very near the beginning, like within the when they start going for the about five ten minutes into it, Matt just goes, "I love it." <laughs> yeah. uh, he steps back. He's like, "Wow." You can just see the look on his face. This is everything he ever he wanted. This is everything he always wanted. I think he, he said it. He doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. Like be- before the uh, episode ended, uh, one ten before it ended, he was like, "Oh man, I can't wait for the next episode. Yep. This can be yep. so easy for me." <laughs> and it, if if I just I get just wa- having watched, I didn't watch the whole thing twice, but I've watched parts of it twice. Went back and I watched a bunch of things because so there were there were little moments that I was I thought were really interesting, but overall. There is two distinct parts to this. The first half, you can see they're they're ready to play two characters, the the Mighty Nine and Bell's Hells. They're ready for it, but it's bedlam. It's tough. After the break, they prob- they sat down. A, a few things happened after the break in this one. All, I don't know if you noticed this. You don't watch it, right? All their cups changed. I did notice the green cups for some reason. The, 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 suddenly after the break, solo cups showed up. Bright and it's green like, solo cups. Bright, yeah, bright green solo cups. And it's like, okay, where did those come from? Chat was asking about it. And then I was, sort of went on the Reddits afterwards. And people were like, it looks like those were the same solo cups they had for the uh, Legend of Ox Machina watch party. Or the, the rap party. There's some party that they, I forget. There's some stream. Can't watch everything. Something else they posted on there, and they were all drinking, and they were all drinking from those cups. So it's possible that they were either getting ready for it, or they'd split up the recording a little bit. Oh, anyway, or it was the same night, perhaps, is what you're saying. It may be, right, yeah. the same night, yeah. So they they did a quick little oh, thing. what a fun and, day. A right, game of D&D, great, so, and then the launch party? How and fun then, is then, that? Like, the launch party or yeah, oh, yeah. Well, man. I don't think it was a launch party. I think it was another party because they've been announcing that that uh, LOVM's been on for a while. So I think I think it was something uh, something different. I forget. I could. Go I did back see the like it, the first was... thirty minutes of it, and I was like, all right, this isn't really. You know, I'm just watching yeah. people have a fun time. Like right. Sam and came up, what... some animators came up, but I'm not yes. sure exactly what it was. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it was like okay, watching all that stuff was kind of neat, and they're doing all that stuff. Get but touched. Also... Tell us what it was. Real, really quickly, the the bedlam, like they were confused. You don't Liam gotta be made, quick. Like, Take your time. Liam made, yeah, yeah. Liam made three or four mistakes um, with be, switching between the characters. Uh, Sam was pretty much on point. Uh, Travis <laughs> made a couple of mistakes. 
Um, Laura made a couple. When yeah, you say I mean, mistake, you mean like the wrong character said the, the thing? The wrong character said the thing, yeah, exactly. Th- those are fun mistakes. You Amazing know? mistakes. Because like, Liam well, owns it immediately because he's yes. sitting there. He's just like, yes. and he's he used the wrong voice. And he's like, yep. oh, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong. Oh, that's no, that's the wrong character. And then that's like not... Laura yes. does it. And he's like, yep. wait. And she used Laud- uh, uh, Imogen's voice when she was supposed yes. to use gestures. It's like, wait, you, right. you saw that? And you're like, you just did it. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. So this should be a drinking game. <laughs> At the break, that didn't, after the break, that didn't happen anymore. They had a, they had a talk. Do you think you somebody cracked a whip? Oh, I, I don't think so. I think they all sort of looked at each other and were like, okay, we better step up our game here. And if you remember, Sam took that very seriously and had like a five minute monologue with himself. Yeah. Breus and Veth just like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But it was, it was a fun conversation amazing. about yeah, them being amazing. sexually attracted to each other. Yeah. yeah. And he did a great job. I, say, I, I sent you that message. It was so fun to watch this episode because yep. in my pocket while I was on the scooter. Mm-hmm. Because I'm just listening to these actors change yeah. their voices. Right. And it right. sounds and like you a know different the character. Yes. Even though you it's the same person. Yeah. And it was so cool. It's, and then I finally like kind of rewound and watched a few things again. Just like watching that one character. Sam. Right. You know, it's it's like watching a schizophrenic person kind of sometimes because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you'll see them. They're in one character and then they change completely their look and everything. You know, yeah, he, Sam does it brilliantly, too, because he actually shifts slightly. He does this <laughs> with Beth. He turns and looks up and then with Breas, he turns and looks down. So he shifts. He changes his body posture when he does it, getting himself into the mindset of what that character would actually be, which I think is brilliant. It's a really good way of doing it. Quite, quite fun. I don't – okay. I mean, like – so like I told you before, uh, when they said, like, how many figures did we see? I believe it was Travis that said that. Mm-hmm. He's like, you clock seven figures. Yeah. And and everybody was like, oh. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, what What the fuck is this? And then right. Matthew changes the music to ominous instead of, yep. like, festive or, or, or casual. Right. And I was like, oh, shit. Are you about to see some shit go down right now? I didn't. I didn't remember that they were gonna be meeting with the Mighty Nine, mm-hmm. and then as soon as they show up, and like they're all getting ready for the reveal, you know, with the door opening, yeah. and Orm's just sitting there, just like, "Hey, hey, you know? hey guys, they're like, no, hey. he's not there. The door's closed, you know." And they try to <laughs> they try to orchestrate this like yeah, introduction, yeah, and like I love it because I still wasn't clocking it, and then when Matthew was like, "And there they are," and then he says, "What do you see?" I thought he was asking Bell's Hells, what do you see? Mm. And I'm like, what the hell is this question? And then yeah. the moment that uh, Caleb starts talking, I was like, yes. <gasps> it's the Mighty Nine. This yeah. is the moment I've been waiting right. for. Right. <laughs> it was so, it's, it's so, so, so awesome. And, so cool. And we get to see, I mean, a big part of that, too, is also Caduceus. I, I was yeah. very happy because there was a little bit of speculation that it wouldn't be Caduceus. It would be Kingsley again. Even I thought though it would be Kingsley. Kingsley, yeah. Well, Kingsley apparently is in Dark Toe. So he is, uh, he's the know, new like guy, a, right? Whatever the, the guy king, is. Apparently. Yeah. Plank king. There you go. Yeah. So he's in dark toe apparently and doing a thing over there. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's good to see Caduceus again. Watching, watching Talus and shift between Ashton and Caduceus was, I think maybe Jester and Imogen is another big shift as well, but Caduceus and Ashton are, pretty much polar opposites it doesn't get much more extreme than that i think that's I also think it, fairly relative to the actor doing it too yeah you know because yeah. like caduceus is like his id his ego uh, id ego i don't yeah. uh, what you know the, it, it's it. who he is just like yeah. in character form right and then uh ashton i've always felt like it was a it was a stretch for him because he's he's yeah. not that kind of guy but caduceus no is just, that, but that was the that Perfect. was the point, right? It's why it's why most people in, on the on socials don't like Ashton because it's it's uh, it's not really who Tallison is, and it's he's very very, on purpose a hypocritical character. He's a yeah. he's a hypocritical uh, genasi. He's not not yeah. good. He's he's all over the place. He's very selfish. Very, um, he, he's he's just not good at all. He's very he's not a good person. Not a bad person, but he's not a good person. You mean Talison or his I, characters? <laughs> Ashton. No, Ashton. Right. I wouldn't if I met Ashton in a D and D setting, I probably wouldn't want to have a beer with him. I think that's like, the I'm entire not, idea. I, it's the exactly the idea, yeah. Yeah. It's why he's so polarizing. Why why most of the internet doesn't like him. 
Wow. See, I'm off those internets these days. I'm off the Reddits. You know, I'm not yeah. on the threads or whatever the fuck it's called these days. I just watch the episode and I have my own thing. And like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of how he plays Ashton sometimes, but mm-hmm. when he plays it right, he's on point. Yep. Yep. You know, and it's and it's a fantastic. The big, the biggest problem for me as kind of a power gamer, a little bit. I, I, I I'm trying to get away from that. In D and I'm trying to get away from the whole idea of just power gaming and min maxing and doing all that stuff. He's a, it's not a good barbarian build at all. This, the, the longer it goes on, the worse of a build everybody realizes it is. It's not a barbarian in a party, and this is again, this is my bias speaking through. A barbarian in the party should be more like Grog or Yasha. It's a tank in the middle that's just focused on doing these things. Unidimensional, Ashton, this is what you do. Ashton doesn't play that way. Like Ashton doesn't really play well with others. He doesn't he's, get he's, in there. No, he's, it's, he's kind of all over the place. But he's, he's also multi, multifaceted. He's got four yeah. different rages that, yeah. that he doesn't know which yep. one's going to come up. So That's right. Some of them are better done from farther away. Some of them are done mm-hmm. right in, in your face. Yeah, so it's, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough to be that kind of, so it's, it's a little bit, and again, by design, it's supposed to be like that. That's just the way it is, but yeah, it's, it's tough. Yeah. The, um, it, it's funny. I realized really, really quickly in this episode, you realize it within the first hour or so, uh, we're talking about one, 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 one. There is more character building done by Jester and Caleb. <laughs> two bells hells than they have done for themselves the entire campaign. Yes. Right? Did you notice that? That <sighs> Caleb Caleb and Jester single-handedly built up and and fleshed out who bells hells are. Yeah. Better than they have done for 110 episodes. It was wild. That's one of the things that's been missing from these from campaign 3 from Bells Hells is these these moments where the where they actually have time to build who they are and and i don't think that's there are no entirely, arcs you know i don't I, I i don't think it matters i think it's the characters builds themselves don't lend that you mean like the characters uh, and the actor playing them learning yeah. who the character yeah. is is that what you're yes. saying yes okay okay i don't think i don't <clears throat> think they built these characters in with uh depth in mind it's like there's a little separation between the two it's like all right i'm at the table now i'm playing a character mm. Whereas with Vox Machina and Mighty Nine, it's like, no, this is actually a part of me, so it's an easy transition or a seamless yeah, transition. So, some of that, and I think it's also just that their characters just don't gel very well together. I think we've, we've talked about this more and more and more, but this episode, again, um, brought that home for me, where I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the way, again, Caleb and Jester and Caduceus and all of them really going after who they are and who, what they know and, and fleshing things out, that's, that's the, 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 the characters of Bell's Hells just aren't built that way. Yeah. They've designed them. They've designed them to be not, uh, not really, I don't know. It, it, maybe it's very cynical of me to think that, but it feels like if, if it wasn't for the actors sitting at the table, Bell's Hells would never exist as a party. I agree with that. I think that uh, Bell's Hells, as characters, don't really know who they are mm. as, as compared with uh, Fox Machina with, and stuff. With the other two, right. <clears throat> well, we only have those two points of comparison, right? I mean, the, 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 the whole idea of a bunch of weirdos bumping into each other in a tavern somewhere and then suddenly becoming family within a few days, like... Like, Classic like Breus, story. <laughs> right. Like, like Breas says on, he's like, this has been the wildest four days of my life. <laughs> Look like, how he keeps bringing you know, it up. Like, <laughs> that shit. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Who does that in any setting ever? Nobody. So <laughs> we toss it under the rug. It's fine. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's totally fine because it's just a fucking game. It's a game. And it's, it's just, it's a game that we love. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, I love how he keeps bringing it up because it's a, it's a really good point. It's like, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You know, when like uh, Imogen had the thing with with the with the Raven Queen. What are we supposed to call her now? The Night Mother, the Raven Queen, uh, the the, uh, the Matron of Ravens, Dusk Maven, Dusk Maven. <laughs> How many names? And the, the they're Dusk in there. Maven and it's is like... what they is what they call. That's what they called her in um, in Drasar at the beginning of this campaign. 
okay because we're the matron the matron of ravens not, yeah, yeah. watsy yeah that yeah. aren't that aren't watsy yeah and like you know so like in that uh battle they had those three uh things so they had opal uh imogen's mom and uh the uh, vespin chloris right vespin chloris the the most evil person of all time yeah. period yeah the one period. that brought period. down uh, brought the, the calamity uh, yeah. Brought, brought upon calamity. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it maybe it, it it's sort of weird, right? Like you think you you look at it from a from an outside perspective, and you're like, all he wanted to really do was just get rid of one betrayer, but it really <laughs> really backfired, and all of a sudden, all of them, all hell breaks loose for thousands of, or for hundreds of years. Well, thousands this is, of years. Hundreds about, of years. Thousands. Well, thousands thousands right? of years, not thousands. Was it thousands? No. Hasn't it been? I mean, at least since the calamity, right? Oh, a couple. I thought it was like seven hundred years or something. Oh I boy. Know. Okay, get in touch if we're off base here. I'm reading. I'm reading. Um, I've, I've been pretty busy these past couple of years, and I forgot about a book series called. If anybody out there has read it, um, read it. If anybody's read this series called Red Rising by Pierce Brown, He's it's sponsored. one of the <laughs> one of the greatest sci-fi series. Seven books. Uh, book seven comes out next year. But it's about it's in it's set in the year three thousand five hundred, um, and it's been it's been uh, eight hundred years or something like that since humans have colonized all the planets. They've terraformed all the planets and all the moons in this solar system. In this solar system, okay. Yeah. It's really cool. It's a really amazing thing. So I'm getting I've gone back and I've started I've I've gone back to read the books that I missed. That's just a cool. crazy amount of information. Yeah, dude. It's it's so cool. All this the planets built... and all the satellites. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, all of them. It's it's really cool. And it's the core and the rim. And they're it's all fighting. It's all battles. It's That's really neat. Vicious. Jeez. Yeah. The uh, the the headquarters, the head it's pretty neat. The headquarters of the entire society is based on our moon, which is really cool. It's very neat. Earth doesn't even really play much of a role at all. <laughs> that's a, it, that's a great way to start, dude. Yeah, like it's forget cool. this, it's, man. We're yeah. out here now. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's, it's very like we, very. Cool. We it's, use this up. It's dry. If you it's like, a prune. Go. <laughs> if you like really well written and honestly easy to read sci-fi, this is good. Pierce Brown, Red Rising, it, seven books. It's Pierce amazing. Brown, Red Rising, seven yeah. books. Book of seven course, comes out next year. Oh, that's still going. All right, I'm I'm gonna have to bring this up to my uh, uh my band members because they're they always share book information and mm. they love it's sci-fi space shit. Then they probably know this one already. I wonder if that's it's, what they're reading right now because they're both be. always like when I show up to pre-practice dinner, they're always talking about some book. I wonder if this is what they're talking about. Could be uh, the oh, new I'll the bring newest up. book came out last year, 2023. It's called Lightbringer, and I was like, oh yeah, I better get out that book. So I looked at it and I'm like. What happened in the book before that? So I, the book before that is called Dark Age, book five. And I'm like, I better go back and sort of skim through and see because it's been a few years. And as I started reading it, I very quickly realized I haven't read it yet. So I was all like, <laughs> oh, shit. So I started reading it and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I haven't read this yet. I skipped this. I missed this one. So I had two books. to. I have two books to read. It's amazing. Quite happy. Anyway, hey, uh, Critical Role. Let's get back to it. Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. I just figured something out because you're you're uh -oh. clipping a little bit there. Oh. Am I okay now? Hey Ben, what color is your tank top there? My tank top is uh, gray with blue pinstriping and red bowls. Looking and good. Some blue, some blue tie writing on it. Looking probably, good. I I guess it probably says, uh, "Drink Red Bull." <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey man, I mean we could do rollies, but I'm not going to switch scenes over here. But uh, ah. also like. I don't There's think no I point. care to I do rollies right now. Yeah, we we just listen. We got some stuff to say. That's about it. We How do. much more we got to say? Uh, well, we can go from the front backwards. Um, sure. Because one thing I want to say, I was in tears today at lunch. Mm, right, right. Because right, right. I just finished one one one. You know what? Now that I've said one 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 again, one 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 is a perfect time to be like, oh, we got Bell's Hells and Mighty Nine just showed up, and then. Mm -hmm. We all know that Vox Machina is all over the place. Yep. However, they are integral in this thing. One yes. one one is the perfect time for them to see mm -hmm. one one and one come together. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure that was an accident, but you know, put my tin hat on. We're not far from the end game here, man. It feels like there's only a half think, dozen to ten episodes left. I don't think they go past. I'm I don't think they go past more. 120. 120 is probably where it's all done. It feels like this is. This is wrapping up rapidly. First one uh, was yeah, 115. So, so, second one was 
136 or something? 141, I think. Yeah, yeah. And the third um, one, I mean, what else are they going to do, dude? Like, they're on the moon. They got all yep. this shit going on. Yep. They've got these parties going. They're level. Oh, God. Okay. I can I can just gush for ages on this. Mm-hmm. When uh, Caleb uh, uh, solos out Imogen, mm-hmm. and then Lana says, can I come too? And he's like, yes, of course mm-hmm. you can come too. I'm not going to mm-hmm. even try the accent. And uh, what the whole time I'm sitting there, it's like, I know Caleb front yep. to back. I know yep. this guy because I watched the whole thing. It's my favorite mm-hmm. campaign so far. And then mm-hmm. when they're hanging out with him, I was like fanboying. <laughs> like this guy's level 20 wizard and he's also super, you know, like when you, when you meet a, a celebrity or somebody that you're really a big fan of yes. and, you, and then you find out like everybody, they're a normal human. It like kind of it kind of melts you a little bit, and you're like, "Wow, I thought you were going to be an asshole or something like that." It's like, no, it's a person. Yeah. Time and time again, every single person you ever meet who's a celebrity or whatever, they're always going to be this. And so now I'm seeing him for the first time in their eyes, and I'm like, I'm melting. Yeah. Listening yeah. to Caleb talk, and he's the like, whole, "Oh, my the whole my episode's just amazing fan service." In all honesty, like that's what it is. It's just. I mean, it's working. It's working. <laughs> yep. And like there was one thing he said, I was sitting at a traffic light, um, but they were like, yeah, but you're so strong or something like that. And he was like, well, my limitations are stronger or something like that. Mm -hmm. His limitations are strong. Anytime he Mm -hmm. kills somebody with fire, he maybe goes catatonic. Yeah. Even at level 20, I'm sure that's the case. Uh, That might have gone away by now. I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out. Perhaps. And maybe we'll see it happen. You know, it feels like he also has leaned into a little bit more about the because he to, he took as one of his um, spell mastery spells was fortune's favor. Right. And that is a that's really a buff debuff sort of a thing. Well, it's a buff spell. Uh, so that's an interesting choice. I, you would think it'd be maybe a fire spell, but nah, he, he's chosen that that one. There might be a limit on I forget what spell mastery is. I haven't maybe he's back shying away from the fire stuff, you know, could be could be. Listen, they're going after the the um, the weave mind. It is going to be a nightmare to go after those. Like that's think where, of the that's battle, where, though. It's going to be incredible to watch. Oh, they're level of, fif- sixteen. The, the, yeah. uh, Dorian, sorry, Robbie said they leveled up, so I think it's they a leveled a, up right before it's a D12. this. It was, it was on Instagram. It was inspiration right day. They, they did the they did the leveling up on Instagram last okay. week. Okay, so they so leveled they're up to they're six, 15. Oh, they're 15. 15. Yeah, yeah. and they're they're canoodling, schmoozing with twenties. Mm-hmm. The 20s right you know but so so that's the thing so like the battles these level be insane 15s, well here's what's happening right these level 15s are going after the uh the lewdness and 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 company the the sneaker cell right yep. sleeper cell yeah mighty nine are going after the weave mind like good like lashley the fern said good luck with that and then vox machina is going after the key minus like, vax well, that's they're going to ostensibly rescue Vax. That's, I think, what the, the plan is going to be. Oh, that's right, because they gave information on how to perhaps do it. That's right. That's they said guess. make that's sure that they're... something was destroyed before you yes. re- remove it. Yes. That was in 109, I believe. Mm, one of those, yeah. One, one, one of eight eight or 109. Fate, probably probably yeah. not. No, nine, because they weren't in Vasselheim yet in 108. So probably. Yeah. Yeah, it is one of those. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's really cool. And like, it is very cool. Do you still think that they're going to split up and and instead of having 15 characters at the table, are they going to split up, do you think, and Mm. have M9s here and BH is here and VM is here? The speculation was that they would be doing this over the next couple of weeks, but I don't know if you saw the Critical Role news today. Mm. They announced they're doing a global fucking tour of one shots. They're going, their Critical Role is going to Australia. It's, It's weird. They called it a they called it a global tour, but it's the USA and Australia. They're doing Perth and Sydney. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Oh, they're doing Sydney and Melbourne, maybe. I forget which two they're doing. They're doing two cities in, in Australia and then three cities in US. All live shows, all one shots. Uh, the last one is what, in, what? Sorry, what kind of characters are they playing? Or it, it's uh, one. Is shots. it canonical? I mean, no. like, are they making up characters? There's a, What's up? There's a couple of Daggerheart ones, and then I looked at it today. Oh, the I mean, last it's one. It's business. Be then. Yes, it's business. Okay. The last one is interesting 
It is uh, Ford and Jester's marriage. It's their wedding. So I mean, they I only what... alluded to it in this yeah. last episode. Yes. Yeah, they're engaged, not married. So this will be like right. a. I'm guessing a a, re, a sort of a Dalen's Darren's Dalen's Dalen's da- closet. Dalen's Dalen's closet. Yeah. As, as opposed to all the English rules, mm. it's apparently called Dalen's closet, not Dalen's. Right. Whatever. So I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be something like that. But fuck you, it's... Matthew. We know you're watching. Let's call it Dalen's for fuck's sake. So yeah. So the speculation was that they were going to announce all of this stuff as these being like uh, they do a couple of episodes of the Mighty Nine, a couple of episodes of Vox Machina, a couple of episodes of the uh, Bell's Hells doing their missions, and Swoosh. then all culminates. But they're not doing that. They're doing things a little bit differently. I was going to say because like if it's going to be canonical shit, yeah. you know, on Dagger the road, Daggerheart. Yeah, so they're yeah. they're selling Daggerheart is what they're doing. It looks the, that way. Yeah. They have the two D twelves for there's things. A, yes, there's a there's a one of them. The one in Chicago maybe or something is a Daggerheart in Exandria special. Okay. So they're they're bringing the Daggerheart system into Exandria for or something. I read through it. Where's my phone? It's here somewhere. I, I looked at it this morning and or this afternoon. I was like, oh, that's interesting, but it wasn't anything really all that exciting. Oh, it's exciting and it'll be interesting. The worst part is, is that they're doing it all on Beacon, which is kind of annoying. They're gonna, it's yeah. gonna be on Beacon. Like, Narrative Telephone was supposed to come out this week, the newest one, but it and it did on Beacon. It won't come out on YouTube until the end of the month, which is not fair. I yeah. love Narrative Telephone. It's one of my, it was one of my favorite things that they ever did. Oh, so, well, they said There's it's coming so much- on YouTube on October thirtieth, so yeah. October thirty first for me yes. and, and you me. also, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, when the, things come out on Beacon again, I've said this before. I'm on our, no, <laughs> it's been over a month, yeah, but yeah. come on, man, I pay enough. Like, yeah. don't make me pay more for I'd shit that I want to hear. I'd rather watch it on Twitch. That's what I wish they'd do that, but whatever. Yeah. I yeah. guess they have a sure. business model and they're gonna make mm-hmm. their fucking money. It's like, dude, you have enough, but once you have money, you make more. To, uh, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> anyway. Back to the back to the back to the story at hand here. Yes, um, man. I, I, like I said before, I, I have so many things I could fucking talk about. I loved the uh, the interaction with um, uh, Caleb and Imogen and Ladna. Yes. Ladna yes. shut the fuck up for the longest time and just let him talk to Imogen about all this stuff. And uh, that was in the tower, right? In the yeah. top of the tower, yeah. In the top where, where people are not allowed, yes. but he, he yes. let them in. You saw galaxies yeah. upon galaxies and just, yeah. yeah, it was like an infinity that is not, you know, but also it's, it's, isn't it Caleb's creation too? Yes. Yes. So he created the room, whatever. So it's not, it's not actually like the, the, the abyss no. or, or no. Anything. And, and I mean, he does that. He did that thing where he's like, okay, you guys make a perception check. And right. Marissa's like, okay, GM. Okay, GM. GM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. That made me laugh. Matt's like, oh, I'll allow it. This is, yeah, this is the way you do things. I don't think Matt had to say that. Be like... No, no. But, yeah, it was funny. Yeah. And I wonder, too, because, like, I thought uh, after he said make a roll, uh, it was like whoever rolls higher is going to see it. That's what I thought. No, it was. I think it was a DC 20 perception check to see that it's an illusion. I think that was the whole point. I think it's cool though. I love it when mm-hmm. Liam, you know, mm-hmm. like yeah. takes that step, you know, yeah, because I, and, I and trust him wholeheartedly. Hundred percent trust him because he's not; he'll never abuse that. He, yeah. he knows what what's going on. He's like, he's, yeah, this is the this is the right way. He's my he's favorite D and D player. Period. Bang like, on that I've ever seen. Bang. Great actor. Oh gosh. Okay, I guess yeah. Getting to the end of one one one. I, I was, <laughs> going. I was gearing up to go back to work and i was i didn't know that this was gonna happen and uh at the end of 111 and uh i learned a lot i didn't know that it was mutual you Mm. know and i don't know if anybody at the table really did too there were hints at it you know we're like dorian's kind of like yeah yeah, Mm -hmm. you know and very standoffish but orem He's like, no, man, my, my husband will. I would never, uh, yeah. but mm, there's something there. Yeah. And he hinted at yeah. it a few times, mm-hmm. hinted mm-hmm. a few times, which I clocked. And then when he finally said, like, you know, and he came in and he's like, can I sit down? So it's like, the, I'm not going to go through it, but <laughs> man, the I, I don't uh, know what it was about it, but like the well, way that, that Bronte. It's their chops. 
They're good. And, They're good at it. They're very, very good. Liam is excellent at this, and Robbie is also very good at this. I'm learning, you know, yeah. because I know Liam. I've seen him for three campaigns. Dorian, uh, sorry, uh, Robbie, I've only seen him for this campaign and a little bit in EXU. I don't mm-hmm. really know his chops, but I know he's good. So I'm watching them and like the eye contact when they're talking to each other about it and when they're getting like kind of like like even even when uh uh Dorian was like you know and I have I just I'm just flush full of these feelings there's lust there's guilt and there's these and I just let it go. He's looking at Liam yeah. when he says this. Sometimes he's looking at Matt just to communicate but then he looks at Liam and Liam's sitting there with his head down and his eyes up. And mm-hmm. they're looking at each other, dude. This is what actors do <laughs> in a scene in a movie. And when I'm watching these guys do it at this table, I'm like, oh, guys, yep. this is amazing. This is That's such amazing. good. This is such good quality. I, I don't like to call it content, but it's, this is really fucking amazing. It's good content. It is very good content. It's like the, actually- the, uh, the content itself had me tearing up but then the the mastery of acting had me tearing up and then just like mm-hmm. oh it, it was and watching other people's reactions especially matthews he started crying quick mm-hmm. he was sitting there just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. <laughs> it was a very very good moment it was quite beautiful it was very beautiful i watched it twice and i cried again before i went back to class none of my you students didn't... noticed it on the on the, on the flip side of that, we didn't get enough Ford, which I thought was a little bit unfortunate. It would have been nice to get a little bit more Ford. Unfortunate? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, the a lot of Jester, which is great. A lot of Caleb, which is great. A lot of Caduceus, which is good. Caduceus's insights, as always, were on point. Um, you say there's was, a psychic out there? Yeah, okay, I'll yeah. set another place. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. That's not what he said, good. but yeah. Something along those lines. Are you a psychic party? It's very few times that uh, Talison makes me laugh. Yeah. That was that was one of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I liked it. It was good. It was a very very fun episode. I am gonna say it, it, it was nice as it was. I hope they don't do it for one twelve. I mean, we're off next week, so we'll uh, we'll find out in two weeks. But <clears throat> I hope they don't do it for one twelve. I hope they immediately split up, and then we get. Yeah, uh, once they get to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. They have their different missions, yep. right? Yep. But I would also like to see them hook up with VM and do the same um, thing and then yeah, part. Might happen at the very end, but Vox Machina is not going to the moon. So. Ah, what? What are you saying? What? They're what do going, you mean to, the going to the moon. Oh, they're, they're, going they're going to the, the key. key. They're doing the shit at the right. key. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I was hoping they were going to do the same thing where they all, there's 15 characters at the table. Uh, Maybe at the end there'd be twenty. There'd be like uh, another is is twenty two. I want to see all three parties get together. Yeah, twenty two characters at the table. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That's so stupid. What? I bet they could do it, dude. They're gonna fuck up. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Getting ahead of myself. Yep. 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 <laughs> That's terrific. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Uh, hey, quick. Oh, sorry. Okay, I was gonna say a quick chat about Vox Mach, uh, Legend of Vox Machina, but we can't. You're out. I you're haven't it. seen it yet, man. No. I'm gonna okay. Like I said before, I'm gonna do my best to get my girlfriend involved and see what yeah. she thinks of it. Do that. Do but that. I've heard from people on uh, Reddit years ago from uh, the first and the second season. Somebody who's never seen it before, mm-hmm. they don't understand the fan service and the you yeah. know like all and all that. It, and they're like, "What is this? Good. This is." Yeah. I've heard from some people that they were like. What is this? This is nothing. And then from from other people, like this is a really good fucking show, mm-hmm. you know. And the acting is mm-hmm. fan- it is phenomenal. Yeah. So I'm gonna see what she thinks, you know. Good. Go back and watch the very first one. Go back and and watch season one again. Good point. Yeah, we could sit on that couch and watch all three together. Just watch all watch. It's it's only like thirty six episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, we got plenty of time. Wait, so are the first two? Uh, are the first two twelve? I forget now. There were ten or twelve. There were ten one or twelve. Or two. This one's yeah. definitely yeah, because they always came out in three. So this is definitely twelve. Twelve, yeah. twelve, twelve. Uh, like I said, one to one to nine of campaign of campaign of season yeah, three one. is amazing. Yeah. Um, I have not watched seven, eight, nine yet. I, I'm I'm going to watch them. It's national holiday tomorrow. I am definitely watching them tomorrow, uh, because the finale will come this weekend. So I definitely want to watch get that all done this weekend. 
And I got I got another D and D game tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. That sounds like ten then. Three 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 finale. That's ten. No. You have three episodes, three episodes, three episodes finale? No, three episodes, three episodes, three episodes, three episodes. Three episodes, episodes including the finale. Okay. Yes, including okay. The finale, yeah. So then, it's, the, I just sort of go ten, eleven, twelve is the finale. Like I, I Oh I sure, okay, them, okay, okay. I kinda treat them as blocks. Like I watch them back to back to back. So it's just Maybe. like it's one show. Oh three yeah. Episodes, How could you not? Show. Can you can you imagine? Oh. Uh quick quick tip on this season too. The music is amazing. It's way better three. than the season 3. Okay. The music is so much better. Oh, sorry. The season 3, the music is phenomenally good. They've got uh, so much more money, dude. Up. These another guys are rich. Yep. <laughs> another step. They've up. got money it's piling so, in from everywhere. So, yeah. So they're going to throw that money into this for sure, you know. Well, it's, they got Amazon money behind this, so. I know, yeah. that's insane, dude. Yep. I'm glad that they're not showing it so much, you know, and they can still mm. approach Critical Role extremely seriously as we expect yeah. them to take it. But they're also like. Yeah, man, it's it's wild because like Marisha keeps saying, we're just getting started. <clears throat> we're just getting started. And it kind of shows. It's like, no, there's there's serious stuff in the pipe here. I'm glad about that. I'm glad. We got Mighty Nine. Stuff. We got Bell's Hells coming up. Yeah. You know, yep. for all these yep. animated things. Mighty Nine's greenlit and already going. Like it's it's in production. They're already so. doing it. Yeah. 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 Yep. I can't wait for that. Without shit, even dude. finishing, I really wonder if they're gonna go the Vecna route with with Fox Machina. We'll see. I hope they do. I hope they don't. Why would they? Two minds, you just two said two things it. there. I know. I would kind of be happy if they just finished Vox Machina at the Coma Conclave like it was supposed to be finished. We've talked about this before. Yeah. Well, I, think I mean, the, the I, original campaign, but then the show, yeah. and that's where it stopped. Yeah. But we had the second season. I know. And Vecna did not show up. No, Vecna comes much after the Coma Conclave. Huh. That's interesting, yeah. Ben. That's interesting. I'm, I know. I'm. I'm almost. Of two, I'm of two minds. And a little bit of a spoiler, because <laughs> that means he's not mentioned in the third series here. Oh, I don't. Maybe he is. I've only watched one to seven. Oh, uh, one to six. Right, but so far he's not mentioned. So not? go fuck yourself. Oh, uh, and, and that's another not, thing. We're not friends anymore. The Easter eggs, dude. Keep your eyes peeled. They're everywhere you have the everywhere. eyes for that you yeah. have the eyes for that i have the memory of, of really the obvious. people and shit yeah some of them, you're the some one. of the spoilers like so, no no spoilers the some of the easter eggs are so obvious they're like the camera goes right to it and you're like oh okay well that's from blah 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 <laughs> yeah it's it's good it's really good i wish hey, we listen, could talk about it i'm sorry i know i know we'll talk about it next one um yeah, we will. watch it before then uh i gotta wrap this up because it's getting <laughs> okay. late <laughs> All right. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, um, fuck, final thoughts. Um, I'm really looking forward to 112 mm -hmm. because I know that they're probably going to separate. And like the way that Matthew uh, uh, kind of put the uh, ribbon on it at the end there, he was like, yeah. and man, coming up next, we don't know what's going on. And like what yeah. he was saying in this episode and the last episode, 110 mm -hmm. and 111, well, it's you see to these. The end game. Yeah. You see these uh, hardened warriors hardened. That mm -hmm. means they're preparing for war. They've seen yeah. it before, but they're getting ready for another one. You see these young chaps who are like, huh, huh, you know, and he's like, yeah, because this is it's fucking happening. Mm -hmm. And the the, 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 one of the, one of the things I really like that we don't talk much about, which I think is really important, is we don't talk about the religious aspect of this whole thing. Because I don't mean think you and I don't. Yeah, we don't talk about that. I, I was thinking about that a couple of days ago. I'm like, you know, we don't talk about that much. I'm glad about that because I don't think either of us really care that much about the real world implications of what these, these no. actors are doing. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah, but, Matthew but, talked about it in Force Had a Dive. Yeah, about he's like, the, no, it has the, nothing to do with religious no things in, in Earth. Base sucks for that shit. They're all over it, which I which I fucking hate. I think it's nonsense. It's, it's so like, stupid. oh, you hate Christianity? It's like, well, maybe I do, but it's yep. not. No, that has nothing You're to do with it. in a fucking fantasy uh, setting. Yeah. Cut it out. It's a fucking show. It's a game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Hazel, you got a scratch on your chin. Hazel huh. got into a fight with the neighbor's cat. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, uh, bully. Big tabby that's a mean bitch. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're not friends. Get that bitch <laughs> on a leash. But anyway, sorry. If cats are anything Ow. like humans, I mean, bitches love the bad boys, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I had a string on my finger about sorry, uh, sorry. about about Endgame. Um, my bad. I'm I'm really curious. This is not what I was going to say before because I don't remember what it was. But uh, I'm really curious about Endgame here. Uh, like I alluded to before, mm-hmm. they just became level fifteen. Mighty Nine is level twenty, and they're they're yeah. boss, right? Yep. Vox Machina, yep. obviously, just just like yep. you know. Relative to the average human, fucking gods out there, you know, like battle hardened, yeah, fucking guys. nothing gets past them without, you know, and motherfuckers are going to come at them hard. For example, gods or people trying to d- destroy gods. Mm-hmm. What I love about this is what people had said previously, or uh, I saw a couple of comments where it's like, oh, we're looking at a Mass Effect 3 kind of thing here. You're going to get to a point where you have to choose. Do you choose to preserve or choose to help destroy gods? What I was was kind of alluding to that we don't talk much about, about that big choice. Okay, okay. That's kind of what I was alluding to. And I don't think it fucking matters. From my perspective, I don't care either way. It's not real. It's fantasy. It's not not a real thing. It doesn't really matter because the game is going to continue regardless. So... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so you know, I people mean, get, people get too worked up about this idea of are they with the gods? Are they against the gods? Do they want the god to release? They want this. It's like that that theology shit has no bearing in this, in my view or my vision of what this show is. It doesn't really affect because it it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, you know, on that, uh, at the risk of alienating maybe a few people, like. Maybe I don't care because I'm not a religious person, so mm. that never comes up in my head. It's like, oh, save the gods or destroy them. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't care either way. I mean, well, you know, according to the story, I care what happens in the story. But like, as far as the gods' fate, I'm like, mm-hmm. well, no. I mean, like, whatever they choose, I'm just, I'm just. That's right. I'm watching right. with popcorn, you know. That's right. But uh, if I was a religious person, maybe I would have a say one way or the other. But I'm not a religious person, so I never thought about it. I wonder if that's part of it, you know. Might be. It could be. Feels yeah. like it is a little bit. Because I'm just for me, like, to, as, for me as well. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah if, they, if they destroy them, I don't care. If they save them, I don't care. Yes. And uh, because I just, I'm, I'm a spectator. Yeah, I'm in it for this for the for the the lulls. That's it. Yeah. And I think Matthew had to say that kind of stuff, especially on Four Sided Dive. He was like, mm-hmm. "This is not a commentary on religion in the no. real world. This no. is just a story." You know, and, and he spelled and honestly, it out. Shame on you if you think it is, because that's that's not what clearly not what it's going to be. Absolutely. I say the same. I say the same thing about often when I when I play D and D with new people or whatever. If you bring your real life shit to the table here, and you're bringing this, you're using this as a therapy session. Find another table. Or if you're if the whole table is going to be like that, I'm going to find another table. I'm not interested in playing <laughs> that game. Yeah, it's, it's an escape. That's weird. It's an escape. Exactly. It's an escape. It has yeah. nothing to do with. Real shit, shit. Kitty, <laughs> kitty, my pot pot. <laughs> Are we wrapping a ribbon on this? Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm getting, I'm getting bed sores from this chair. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, well then, hey y'all, uh, follow him at Ben Greenspoon on all socials. I guess it's called X. No, threat. Yep. Both of them. Yep. Threads and X. There's no Twitter yes. anymore, and nope. Threads is the new one for. I'm not on I'm the not whole on meta. Oh, okay, but. yeah, I Even was for a little while. I I, I did sign for a up little for while. it, but then, but then I fucking bailed. It's but I, I'm sure pieces. your Instagram account says, "Hey, these people want to follow you on Threads." Do you get that notice? All the. Time. <laughs> I'm so, not even on so, it, so, and it tells well, me it's that all the same company. Yep. Yeah. So like apparently I have an account in Threads and they're like hey these people want to want to follow you I'm like I'm not even gonna... anyway uh, follow him on all socials whatever Ben Greenspoon uh, oh, follow me I'm Drama Um I had a nice uh, stint with a very uh, popular famous Taiwanese band 
check out some of those clips. Uh, there's one up right now, and there's going to be a few more up later. I'm seeing them Sunday. Not playing with them, but I'm going to see them on Sunday. We'll, we'll see what's going on. Um, um, gosh, no, no episode next week, yeah? No, we're off. <clears throat> so right. you've got plenty of time to watch Legend of Vox Machina Season 3, Episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's talking to me, not you. I am. By the way. Talking to you, Tucker. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get my girlfriend involved so we can watch it and see yeah, what she dude, thinks. Yeah, do that. See what you think. Start her off slow and then uh, warm up to it and see what happens. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to start from Season 1. Why not? Well, I be, I, 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 I've seen them already. <laughs> oh. I mean, okay. Okay. Let's make it about her. Okay, for sure. All right, cool. Well, then... We won't have an episode next week. Uh, we will have one the following week because we my schedule has freed up immensely. Sorry about the hu- huge ass break. I was very busy with this musical That's endeavor yeah. that I had going on. And you know, Ben took that big old hiatus too. But uh, things are settling down. Yeah, so we're getting we into a groove. Getting yeah, into a groove. In two weeks. And dude, this campaign is coming to a close. So there's going to be a lot like to talk about. Yeah, we should we should do this. Uh, make sure we do this a little more regular because it might be only a few more episodes left. Maybe. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. This campaign has been um, has been great. It's been bad. It's been good. It's been all kinds of things. So I'm excited to wrap it up. Yeah. And this last episode. Oof. Oof. Jeez. Maybe Money. cry two times. Just that last scene between Money, those man. two characters, so dude. So good. So good. So good. All right, y'all, we got to take off. So yep. uh, don't forget to love each other. And is it finally next Friday? Hey. Peace, everybody. Love, love you to bits, Ben. So good to right, see buddy. you. You too, Take man. care, man. Take care. Take care of yourself.